Hey guys, so today we're going to be jumping into the Earthlings category stage of Super Battle Road. And uh, this is pretty much an experimental team here. I, <laughs> I'm i bringing LR Tau. This is the first time I'm ever using him. I'm going to have him next to LR Roshi because I think they actually share like three links with each other. And then I'm going to have Videl and Tien be another rotation because them, them together are actually really powerful. Uh, Videl, obviously Majin Buu Saga character. Tien is a support for Majin Buu Saga. And then Tien himself is also just a good character anyway. Um, and then the floaters are going to be all three Krillins. <laughs> so, uh, again, I don't uh, really consider this team to be, like, super, super good. But uh, let's see how we do anyway. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Have the Icarus Kid go on support memory in case we fall below the HP threshold necessary to activate it. Um, wow, perfect rotations. Uh, actually, no, technically not, because... It's actually going to take me a while to get TN onto the rotation with Fidel. Um, but in terms of the Roshi and uh, Tao, they are on rotation together here to start off with, which is nice. And then something else to note as well is that we do have the amount of Turtle School characters on the team necessary to activate Roshi's Revival skill. So we can get that off as well. Um, okay, so starting off, we are going to be putting Roshi in the front. Remember, Roshi has a 50, or sorry, no, a medium chance to dodge. Tao has a lot of broken mechanics, in case you don't know how he works. He has the um, six-year anniversary LR mechanic in his super, super attack effects. He has a 50% chance to perform a critical hit. He gets extra key with every key sphere obtained. So uh, he's a pretty powerful character. It's just, you know, he's not rainbow and stuff like that. He's not link leveled. Um, with Roshi, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and seal up to uh, Mr. Popo. So we'll go ahead and do this. Actually, is that really what I want to do? Um, let me just take a look at Tao's effects here. So he raises attack and defense for one turn on both 12 and 18 key, okay. What I think I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to actually go for the stun on Popo here. And then with Tao, we'll go ahead and attack Kami. And then with Krillin, I definitely want to try and get the AoE, so we'll go ahead and do this. We're going to not use an item here, just to see how well we do. If we die, we will just start over. Not a huge deal. Alright, let's see how this plays out. Okay, well, we're dead. <laughs> I did not know what to expect in terms of how much damage they were going to do, so... We tested it, now we know. <laughs> no stun, great. Okay, well, this isn't exactly a stellar attack that from Tao either. Yeah, well, I guess we're jumping back in. Alright, so here we go. We have Videl and Tien on the first rotation, which is pretty nice. Unfortunately, the uh, enemy is not attacking in the front, so Videl can't really take advantage fully of her passive. Um, Alright, I guess what we'll do is we'll just try and knock Kami out. We'll put Videl in the front to make sure to link up the Crane School with Tau here. Tien is not... Oh, Tien is link leveled, actually. I forgot I did that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just go for Kami here with Videl. I, I honestly might just straight up kill him, maybe? Uh, with Tien, we'll attack you. And since we know that we have to use an item now, uh, we will go ahead and do that as well. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll just use a Whis. And then we'll retarget to you. That's fine. 2.5, not an exceptional number, but remember, we are going to get, um, yeah, we're going to get an additional, I have max additional, pretty well, not max, because I only, I don't have her rainbow, but have as much additional in here as I, in her as I could possibly put, so, yeah, there we go. Alright, can we get a stun? Okay, we're in business, for sure. Um, I think, <laughs> even if, uh, we get supered by Kami here. Even though we have type advantage, I feel like he'd still do a lot of damage to us. No, okay, perfect. Um, Alright, we'll put Roshi in the front here. I'm actually going to... I think he's here, Chrome, too. Uh, we'll leave things like this, I guess. And uh, with Roshi, because Topo... Is, or Topo. Popo. Uh, oh, he's only... Okay, he's, actually, no, I forgot that, that Tien only stuns for the current turn. Okay, so he's not sealed. And, or no, he's not stunned anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and seal him up with Roshi's 18 key super. And then I guess we'll just have Krillin also attack him in case he's still alive. We'll just kill him right straight up. Just, he's he's, he's going to die. Uh, Sure. I guess we'll open up those blue orbs. Okay. 
Nice dodge. And this should be the end of Mr. Popo. Nice. Additional. Nice. Okay, yeah. When you get the 18 key into the 12 key with this Roshi, he keeps the attack uh, buff that he gets from the 18 key super attack effect. So that's why his damage was so high right there. Okay, that was a pretty painless first fight. I'll take that. Alright, so who is next? Looks like we have... Was this, was this Supreme Kai and Kabito here? Yeah. Oh, Kabito's STR. That's kind of annoying because we have so many physicals in this team. Are you kidding me? Another one with no attack in the front. That's so, so unlucky. Alright, let's go with the mouse here. And uh, we will just go ahead and try and take out Kabito, or do as much damage to Kabito as we can here. Uh, let's do this. And then we'll retarget to you. And then with Krillin, I guess what we'll do is we'll just try and get the AoE, so we'll do this. That works. Alright, so we do have a mouse here, which means I think we should be okay, no matter what happens. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't want to get ahead of myself here. Alright, Videl's going to do some good damage to Kabito. Hopefully we get one more super. Ah, that's normal. Damn it. Okay, we're getting pretty unlucky with those additionals. Um, alright. A stun here would be really nice. Three million is really <laughs> good for this TN, by the way. Okay, an additional nice. So this is a double attack lower. No stun, damn. Did a lot of damage, though, and he's, his attack has been lowered pretty significantly. Yeah, it's nothing. Okay, that's good. Hopefully Kabito doesn't super Krillin. I mean, he's probably going to because he didn't super in the front, but... Uh, Let's see what he does here. Nice crit. Okay, we got lucky. 70. I think we would have died there if he super. Um, we still have a mouse active. I'm going to go ahead and just do this to be safe. We are definitely in an abundance of items right now, so I might as well take advantage of that. Uh, let's just go full force trying to take a beat out here. Just get him out. Um, we will grab this. It's going to be... Uh, was that 21 key super attack? Krillin, we will also do this because we have to get the uh, the uh, 18 key to attack anyway, so we might as well go all out. Actually, this might be better so that we can give Tao those STR orbs. How many links did you share with Krillin? One. <laughs> Great. Uh, I kind of want to just protect Tao at the end, so we'll do this. I don't want Tao to get smacked by that Supreme Kai. We'll do this. Okay. I think this is fine. Okay, no super in the front is perfect, because now we can seal him up. Oh, nice crit. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. Krillin should be able to take out the Supreme Kai, I assume. 2.2, maybe? Please crit. Ah, not enough. Oh, that's, that's perfect. We actually could finish them both here, if we get lucky with crits. You're dead, and damn, he lived. Okay, but Tao's going to take him out. 2.1. Pretty decent attack step from him, considering he's also going to be critting, right? No crit, damn it. Okay, well, he still killed him anyway. Okay, nice. Moving on to the final fight here, we have Beerus. This is Beerus and Whis. Yeah, okay. Well, at least there's no STR enemy. That's good. Um, and there's a hacking in the front, too. Perfect. So, we can have Adele be in the front, and what we can do is we can go ahead and use a Whis as well. And I think we're pretty good to go here. We have Krillin providing support here. Videl's defense is pretty high. Uh, plus, we have the Whis active, which means we should be okay here. I'm going to actually focus primarily on... We have a full physical rotation. It doesn't really matter who we kill here. But um, let us go for Whis. And we'll go ahead and do this. Tien. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just hard focus Whis here. See if we can maybe take him out here. If Videl dodges, we're going to get effective against all types against Whis. I think if he dodges, we actually have a good chance of killing him this turn. So, hopefully that happens. Damn it. Okay, we <laughs> did dodge, but 3.7 from Videl there. I feel like we've gotten really unlucky in this uh, in this stage here with the amount of attacks that are in the front. We had two... So this is our third rotation with Videl. First two rotations, we had no attack in the front, and then the third one, we only had one, and she didn't dodge. <laughs> so... This, I feel like it's been a pretty unlucky run in terms of the attacks. Okay, so he's stunned for the turn. Uh, we're going to be fine here. I'm actually hoping Beerus super attacks here. 
damn it. Okay. Well, this is a pretty bad turn. I'm gonna go ahead and use a mouse here, and then after this, at this point, we should be good to go. Uh, Krillin, I guess we'll just continue focusing on Luis here. We'll just give you all this. Actually, I want to give that to Roshi. We'll steal Beerus here. Do that. And then the other Krillin, we'll just go back to you and do this. I'm hoping the Krillins have enough power in them to just kill Whis if they crit and stuff like that. Alright, he's supering. We should be good here. We have a Whis and a mouse item. This guy steal? Not. No way. Okay, 2.1... If we get crits, that would be ideal. No? Damn it. Alright, Roshi's gonna seal up Beerus here. Almost a 4 million attack step by him. Definitely looking like one of the best units on this team for sure. Nice crit. 2.4. Hoping we can crit this Whis here and kill him, but I, I, I doubt it. Damn it. I don't even know if a crit would have killed him, honestly. Okay. So there's two attacks in the front now, that's good. Uh, we still have the mouse active, which means I think we should be okay. And then also remember Beerus is sealed. So I'm gonna take out Whis here with Videl, we'll grab this. I'm gonna give Tao all those purples. And then with Tian, we'll make sure that Whis is taken out. And then with Tao, actually we can't even get that many, five? Yeah, we'll do that, all right. Please dodge. Damn it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we didn't dodge a single attack in this whole fight. This whole event, we didn't dodge a single attack. Alright, so Whis is, at, Whis is out of here. Don't have to worry about him anymore. So now it's only Beerus who's sealed anyway, so... Uh, 4.1 million. This is... Videl's doing so much damage, it's not even funny. Crit? No, okay. He's gonna do a lot of damage to Tau, though, at the end, even though he is sealed. Like, just the normals are gonna hurt. Can we get a stun? No stun. Double, okay, his attack is lowered significantly here, so we should be good. Yeah, we're good. Show us a crit. Nice. Double digits, okay. So that's gonna be it here. I mean, we're just gonna wrap this up, right? Put Roshi in the front, have him uh, take out Beerus. Just like how it happened in Battle of Gods. <laughs> All right. Um, honestly, not a terrible stage. Um, things could have gone a lot better with Videl, though, specifically, just with the RNG of the dodging and the attacks not being in the front, I think that slowed us down a lot. Um, we could have finished this a lot faster if we had effective against all types with the amount of damage she was putting out, but overall, pretty smooth run. Um, this team is not exactly the greatest, so. Uh, one character that I actually wish I would have um, put on the team, but I just did, I didn't have time to do his EZA yet, is the uh, EZA for Maju. I feel like he's actually a pretty decent character for this team, considering he, uh, he's a rainbow orb changer, and he's effective against all types. He's, his damage is not too bad, so hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next one.